Peace and welcome to our 50th Top 10 episode. Today we will be taking a look at our favorite Grant Kirkhope melodies. He may be best known for his work on the Banjo-Kazooie franchise as well as his work on GoldenEye 007. But today we will be talking about that and some of his other work. So with no further delay, our Top 10 Grant Kirkhope themes in gaming. Number 10, Tangle Deep, Step Right Up. Our first up today comes from the 2017 game developed and published by Impact Gameworks. It was released on the Switch, PC, and Mac. This isn't the most popular game that Mr. Kirkhope has composed for, but that has nothing to do with our list today. I only mention that to drive home the point that this soundtrack doesn't get the attention it deserves. This RPG emulates older games with its 16-bit style graphics. The music has a MIDI feel, but it seems to be higher quality than what any 16-bit console can offer. Number 9, A Hat in Time, Her Spaceship. Our ninth place is another game from 2017. This platform action adventure game was funded and brought to life on Kickstarter, with Mr. Kirkhope being a stretch goal. This theme really leaves no doubt who the composer is. Some music you can tell who created it almost instantly and this is one of those themes. It has a bit of a Banjo-Kazooie feel, it's bouncy and almost cartoony. The one thing that separates it is the fact it's a high quality instrumental and it doesn't have any compression artifacts. The original Banjo-Kazooie was on the Nintendo 64 and it couldn't handle any huge file sizes. This, however, is a modern game and it can handle much bigger files, and the music showcases it. Number 8, Civilization Beyond Earth, Dogmatic Engineering. Coming from the 2014 game for PC and Mac, with an expansion pack released in 2015. A theme that isn't your typical Kirkhope style. It's a little bit eerie, and it's a perfect theme for space. We did our top 10 favorite space themes in gaming, and this one fits right in with the 10 we chose. Most of the time, there is a certain aspect of ambience, and this theme has it. Plus, about halfway through, some brass kicks in to top it off. It's a good theme for a space anthem. Lucky number seven, grabbed by the ghoulies, ballroom disco.
released in 2003 for the Xbox, you can also find it on the 360 as a downloadable title, and then also on the Xbox One as a part of the Rare Replay compilation. This theme has an element of funk mixed with the feeling of Halloween. If Dr. Frankenstein wasn't busy constructing monsters and put his time into composing music, I think this is what he would have produced. I think Mr. Kirkhope does a good job producing some spooky themes that have a fun feel. The music doesn't take itself too seriously, so it may not be really scary, but it's spooky with a side of funk. Number 6, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Donkey Kong Adventure, Jungle Joust. Coming from DLC for Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. It was released on June 26, 2018 exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. This theme has elements from Donkey Kong Country's DK Island Swing, as well as Donkey Kong 64's Jungle Japes. This is like a high-def, uncompressed version of the two themes, and it almost has a big band type of feel. Lots of brass and many other instruments. It really took the themes to the next level. Nothing against the chiptune versions, but this feels more lively. The uncompressed nature of the theme lets it really shine. Number 5, Ukulele, the main theme. This 2017 game is the spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie, and you can find many small similarities, from the logos to the fact one showcases a banjo while the other showcases a ukulele. short little theme that is quite effective. It has a cheesy feel that doesn't take itself too seriously. If you are wondering, yes, Mr. Kirkhope is actually playing the ukulele. You can find this video on his YouTube channel. I do recommend you check it out. However, he is more active on Bandcamp, so I recommend going to his Bandcamp if you want more updates and more tunes. I will be linking it in the description, so check that out when you have some time. Number 4, Banjo-Kazooie, Mumbo's Mountain. Coming from the 1998 Nintendo 64 game, this game and the soundtrack are quite popular. We went with Mumbo's Mountain as our favorite Banjo-Kazooie theme by Mr. Kirkhope. We can understand if you went with Spiral Mountain, Freezeezy Peak, Trevor Trove Cove, or any number of other themes. There are a lot of fantastic themes on this soundtrack. This just happens to be our favorite. It has a little bit of a cheesy feel like the previous entry, and you can find this on multiple games. For example, on Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts.
And of course, you can also find it on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Number 3, GoldenEye 007, The Silo. A theme from one of the top games of all time, this 1997 Nintendo 64 game wasn't the first FPS game, but it sure did help raise the bar and expose more players to the genre. Being a huge 007 fan, I was delighted to play this game. It had the Bond theme, the Bond faces, and included a ton of easter eggs. Not only was the gameplay top of the line, but so was the soundtrack. Looking back on it now, I dare say the soundtrack was perfect. It included just enough of the Bond theme to make me feel nostalgic, but not too much to make it repetitive. The new music in the game still felt like Bond music, and I loved every note. The music in Silo is a good example. It has the feel of action, adventure, and a covert operation. Perfect for sneaking around and completing your mission too. Number 2, Donkey Kong 64, Angry Aztec Temple. From the 1999 Donkey Kong game, and of course another theme from the Nintendo 64. So this is where people may really disagree, but I really like this theme. I can hear a little Banjo-Kazooie in there, besides the fact there is no banjo. It has kind of the same sound, but it is the same composer after all. This theme almost has an Egyptian feel, I think it's good for a desert. It also screams Nintendo 64. Something about that console has a sound that I really enjoy. Up next, we have some honorable mentions. Perfect Dark, Chicago Stealth. So our top spot of course comes from the Nintendo 64. Did you expect otherwise? Released in May of the year 2000, the soundtrack is quite underrated. So if you follow the channel, you know we like ambient beats. Chill music that you could relax to. And this theme fits the build. It has almost an 80s type of feel. I think it's because the sound of the synthesizer and the percussions. 
They mix together very well and create a feel I get from a lot of different soundtracks from movies in the 1980s. And just as you are getting comfortable listening to it, the beat amps up and lets you know it's time for action. It's like a stealth mission where you have been spotted and everyone is out to get you. So there you have some of our favorite tunes from one of our favorite composers. And definitely one of the top composers on the Nintendo 64. He really knew how to make the theme sound good on the console, even with the compression. Our next top 10 will be our top 10 NES themes from the Double Dragon Trilogy. Our favorite themes from all three NES games. Last but not least, shout out to Gold Level patrons Bersona, Quantum X, Chris Hayes, and Dimitri. I am ICC, thanks for watching, peace.